What's up everybody? Old School Jeff here, Chicago Strat, showcasing a 1960 original Stratocaster. Uh, this thing is really something else. Uh, this is from my own personal stash. Um, you know, if you know anything about these guitars, it doesn't get any better. This is what everyone tries to duplicate, tries to imitate, but you know, you can't quite get, mostly because uh, you can't really fake old wood. It kind of turns into a rock the older it gets. Um, this one's uh, awesome. This is one of my own uh, personal guitars. It, um, it's got an original finish on it. Um, original guitars, pretty much all original. Uh, it's got a, a couple of different screws. It's got one different, um, if you can see here, it's got one different um, saddle. Uh, over the years, the saddle was was uh, lost and uh, replaced there, and it's got one new tuner on the top. Everything else in the guitar is uh, original. Um, the pots are, um, we got uh, two original pots, uh, I'm sorry, one original pot and one pot from, I believe, 1965, uh, and then the volume pot. Finish on the guitar is 100% original which is uh, very important to me. I don't like uh, refins. I don't care how they look. Finishes everything. Uh, in the neck on this guitar, it took me years to find a guitar with uh, this neck. Uh, if you know anything about Stratocasters, obviously they were hand-built back in the day, uh, hand-carved. Every neck was a little bit different, and it's, um, it's kind of known uh, among Strat collectors that uh, the 60, early 60s necks were some of the sweetest necks out there. Um, it's got a nice thin little taper on it. It's a medium neck. It's kind of like, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a B neck, but um, it's, um, it's just got such a sweet feel to it. I mean, you can wail on this guitar. Uh, it's a little thinner at the end, but it kind of comes out a little bit, and it's just a beautiful feeling, nice rounded uh, neck. Uh, obviously, uh, from its age, it's been um, it's been worn off, which I love. I love worn strat necks. I mean, I think that's definitely where it's at. Uh, you don't have to, you know, you can slide up and down that neck really nice. Um, and uh, yeah, the neck on this guitar is, is sweet. I mean, I paid out the nose for this guitar. Uh, it's my number one Strat go-to guitar, uh, and it just feels you can do. It's the kind of guitar that you can literally do whatever you think you can do it. Um, you know, there's no fighting the neck. There's no you know hand hurting. Um, you know, there's no kind of you know fart outs on the on the on the neck in terms of the frets. So the frets are. Um, you know, when I got this guitar, I still can't tell if they're original frets or not. I mean, if you check out the back of the uh, the, the finish here, non-original uh, back guard, but um, if you open that up and there's pictures of the guitar, you can see it's got the pencil mark from 59. It's actually a 59 body and an early 60s serial number. So obviously the body was made in 59 and, uh, you know, by the time they got the guitar done, it was early 60. Um, but what was I saying? Uh, oh, the frets. The frets, if you look, um, they look original, man. And which to me would be amazing. Uh, if they are original, uh, they are, um, you know, if it is a refret job, which it probably is, I mean, I would assume it is, um, they did such a hell of a job on it. I mean, you can bend on this guitar like something else. And obviously, I'm holding the camera, but, um, you know, you can tell a strat, there's an old kind of, uh, you know, way to tell, you know, if, if a Strat sounds sweet unplugged, then it will sound sweet plugged in. If it doesn't sound good unplugged, then typically, you know, it, uh, it won't sound good uh, plugged in. So this thing, I mean, you can sustain the note. You can just sit there and bend the note without even plucking the string and you can just hear the harmonic just ring out unplugged, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, you know, the clay dots, uh, very cool. I'm a big fan of, uh, I love the rosewood um, and the clay dots. Um, the rosewood neck is just, you know, Brazilian slab. I mean, the thing is like straight as an arrow and it is, um, you know, hard as a rock. Uh, and these strats, I mean, I've bought some strats in the past that, 
you know, you can't adjust the neck. I mean, one thing or another thing to, to kind of look at when you're looking at a guitar and you're looking at a vintage Strat, uh, you should really pay attention to a number of things. But number one, what I look for in the neck is you look at that truss rod um, um, screw. If that screw has been either out of the neck a little bit or if it's way up in the neck and the pick guard has been really molested because it's been adjusted a hundred times, you can get to a point where that thing doesn't work anymore and you can get to a point where it's adjusted to its max which means you can either you can't either take the bow out of the neck or you can't flatten it out and uh, this guitar you can look i mean that thing is looks like it's been in there set up perfectly and literally never touched uh, which means the guitar is sweet as sweet as pie it's got a little bit of relief in it and I've owned strats that have been vintage strats, uh, particularly ones like in the early to mid 60s that um, have been so back bowed that and the truss, bar, truss rod um, screw has been so uh, unrelieved, uh, meaning it's out of the pickguard that you can't adjust the neck anymore. You have to adjust the tension of the neck by playing super duper heavy strings, which is a problem. You know, this guitar, uh, the truss rod works perfectly. Um, it's set up with nine strings right now, and there's a perfect amount of relief in the neck. It sounds, you know, sounds and plays great, and that makes all the, 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 the difference in the world. If you can't get the right bow in, then you can never get the right feel. Um, you know, the strings will be really, really tight. Uh, there's no slinkiness to the string, which I like, um, and, uh, and yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, this guitar is sweet, man. There's not a ton of them. Uh, original finish, no overspray, no bullshit like that. I don't take, you know, I take that very, that's a deal breaker for me. I won't touch a guitar that's been refinned or if the finish has been touched any, in any way. I just think, you know, a Strat is a very easy guitar to fake. You know, if you're looking at a refinned guitar, then, you know, there's a good chance that maybe that, that body probably ain't real. If you're buying it on eBay, it's probably been, you know, the neck may be real, but, you know, you can fake, you know, a refinned a hundred different ways so I'm big on uh, the finish I think it looks sweet you got the mint pick guard which is cool got a little crack in the top which you know some people like some people don't I think it's kind of cool um, and then uh, obviously the sweet is pie neck man that neck is just to die for uh, one thing that we did do uh, back in the day uh, is uh, we did change out the uh, the sticker. The sticker was gone, so I figured uh, we put in a, um, a spaghetti logo original sticker um, that, uh, you know, I'm not trying to trick anybody. It doesn't have anything else but Fender on there. Um, it is a period correct sticker, uh, but it is not original. So uh, that being said, um, you know, this guitar, you know, a straight as an arrow um, guitar uh, from 1960, all when all is said and done, you could pay north of you know 30 you know 25 30 grand for this guitar um, this guitar um, is structurally sound uh, it's beat but it's sweet and um, you know it don't matter what it looks like if the neck is straight the neck is original the finish is original the pickups are original the electronics uh, are original um, from a different time period obviously from the early 60s one of them one of them is but you know that is uh, that's, uh, and this guitar is a player. Uh, it's also, it's come from, I got this from a dude in Nashville who's a session player. So it's, you know, beautifully reliced uh, naturally. You know, there's no, you know, nobody dragged this behind a car. It is what it is. You know, I see you got the little burn in the top there. Uh, it's just an absolute uh, piece of work, man. Um, original hard shell case, original case, which is pretty cool, man. Um, you know, to, to these cases now are going for, even some big money. This one's kind of beat up. It's got the uh, the tray in there. It's got um, um, the uh, actually wow. You know, I do have the original. This is the original uh, back piece to the guitar, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know why the other one's on there now, but uh, uh, but yeah, um, you know, uh, very cool guitar. You can check out the, you know, just how cool is that? You know, this thing has been played. And somebody who owned it was very similar to myself, man. Play it, don't screw with it. If something takes a crap on it, like a pot, replace it if you have to, but you know, don't refinish it, don't sand off the, you know, the, the, the crappy marks, you know, just play it. And uh, you know, there's a reason why these strats look like this. I mean, these strats are, um, are elegant players. They're works of art, there's not a lot of them. And, um, you know, the guy that owned this before uh, out of Nashville 
was a session player. He played it uh, in clubs, on tours, in the studio, and tried to keep it original because when something's not broke, you don't fix it. And when it looks like this, you know that uh, it's been played, and um, you know it's 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 uh, these things are meant to be played, man. Uh, you get a pristine looking one from the '60s, you know. Check the rod on it, um, you know. That means it's set under. Uh, 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 it, there's when you don't play a guitar, there's usually a reason behind it. So um, this is my number one. It's a special guitar. It's very cool. And uh, thanks for looking, man. Check out my other guitars, and uh, you know I appreciate. Uh, you know, let me know what you think of this thing, man. Shoot me a message or make a comment. Um, but yeah, dude, you'll be hard find to press. Uh, you know, the neck on this is. Ugh. You won't find a sweeter neck, man. 1960, 59 body. Um, for the most part, original, 99% original. A couple screws are different, different pot. And um, we got, uh, like I said, the saddle and one of the tuners. Um, anyway, rock and roll, man. Have a good one. And uh, peace out.